Thanks, Alex. At KubeCon Valencia earlier this year, it was apparent that the cloud native ecosystem is maturing. With that maturity comes an increased focus on security. In today's threat landscape, you never know which layer of your infrastructure is going to be attacked next. From the host OS to containers to infrastructure, Massimiliano Gori will take you through a security approach to cover the entire stack. Take it away, Massi. Thank you, David. My name is Massimiliano Gori, and I'm a security product manager at Canonical. Today, I wanted to talk to you about a topic that is very dear to me, as well as to Canonical as an organization, and that is our role in securing the cloud native landscape. I wanted to start my presentation with this quote from Eric Kramer. This 20 year old quote goes to show that complexity in software development is not a new topic, but effectively, it was already talked about in the open source circles in the late 90s. So what is different now? Well, it's not only software and infrastructure complexity that is increasing, but our organization are becoming more and more complex, especially our RT departments. Likewise, our, the threat actors and the techniques that they use are, in, are in becoming increasingly more sophisticated at the time it goes by. To put this into context, the latest CIO uh, survey from PwC showed that 45% of them don't, don't really know, don't have a clear view of which infrastructure they are running where. Likewise, a 2020 study from IBM showed that almost 200 different IT contractors access the network of large US enterprises on a weekly basis. And finally, the latest Verizon Data Breach Report highlighted that 24% of security breaches are due to infrastructure mis misconfiguration, meaning human errors. So what, what does this all mean? When we think about cloud native security, we usually just refer to the very top layer of the stack. But in reality, there is a lot more that we need to pay close attention to. Security in cloud native environment looks a lot more like a big game of Jenga. The ones of you who played it will know that if you remove a brick from the top layer of the tower, only a few other bricks might fall. But it is when you remove a brick from the bottom part of the tower that you dramatically increase the chances of the entire tower toppling over. In this multivariate world, we can no longer use a security approach that looks at all the different layers in isolation. But we should look at the interaction between them by taking a more holistic approach. A canonical, this is obviously on top of our mind. When we develop our products, we don't only look at the security aspect when they are working independently, but we actually look at the security of our products also when they are working together or when they are working as part of a larger stack. We do this to ensure a single cohesive approach and across the entire enterprise contributing stack. And why do we do that? Well, if you look at this picture, we actually we do that because we do have a product for each one of, of those layers of the stack. So from the host operating system, all the way to containers, passing by the infrastructure and the operation, Canonical is in a very unique place because it has uh, an offering into every single layer of the stack. And as I said before, the hard truth is that we will never know where the next threat is going to come from. So we do believe in actually providing a def defense in depth approach. And that also means making sure that we work very well with external security providers and our partners. Now, let's take a deeper look into what we actually do in each one of the layers from the security point of view. Starting from the base on the foundation and the operating system, Ubuntu has a very long track record of fast security updates. This is especially true for our long-term releases or LTS, which are releases that benefit from 10 years of security updates. With the latest, with the latest launch of Ubuntu Pro, we extended this uh, uh, 10 year security support, not only to the 
23, 2,300 packages in Maine, but we extended it to all the 23,000 packages that are part of Universe. Meaning that for all of 10 years, what happens is that whenever uh, a new security fix is discovered or our security team becomes aware of it, they analyze the fix, the potential resolution, they test it for compatibility, and then if everything is green, then release it into the main, uh, into into uh, into the repository for everyone to consume. We also take very close attention to hardening and compliance. We have developed automation script to make sure that the operating system is actually compliant with the most stringent um, frameworks like DSSTIG and CIS. And we're also working actively to bring FIPS 140-3 cryptographic compliance to all of our distribution and expanding the range of programming languages that we support. We extend this attention to security also to the infrastructure layer. All of our Kubernetes distribution, they implement a set of security controls and uh, they actually uh, implement CIS hardening by default. Microcates in particular also benefits from strict confinement by default, meaning that the risk for container escapes or that is attackers using vulnerable pod or vulnerable container to gain access to the lower layer of the infrastructure is greatly reduced. As we looked from the data from the Verizon Data Breach Report, the human factor is a key contributor of security breaches. With Juju and Charms, we actually bake operational knowledge into code to make sure that fewer people need to access your infrastructure fewer ways because machines are taking care of lifecycle management and all the mundane operations that your team used to do before. We do believe that it's also important to play well with others. And so that is why uh, all of our Kubernetes distribution, they have built-in integration with uh, leading names in the cloud native security environment. Whether we are talking about networking, policy management, or uh, secret management tool, Ubuntu distributions, as you call them. And finally, on the container side, we made available official images on Docker Hub, on the Iron Bank, and on other uh, specialistic container registry. All of our official images that benefit from the same security commitment that uh, we make available for our uh, standard images and distributions. All images are scanned for, for vulnerability, and when a new one is identified, it is remediated and the updated image promptly published in the registries. We also do realize that uh, these trellis containers are um, effectively good from a security perspective because they reduce the attack surface area. But at the same time, these trellis are, well, without a distro, and so they do not offer the same developer experience that um, people expect from Ubuntu. And that is why, to reach the same goal, we have taken a different approach more recently we have announced uh, minimal images or chiseled Ubuntu, meaning that we actually start from a full fat Ubuntu container. And thanks to um, built-in operational tools, we make sure to reduce all the parts that are not required for the workload to run, effectively shrinking down the size of the container and the attack surface area. You can actually try this now and uh, you, can see it, um, you can see it in action with the latest .NET of Ubuntu joint announcement that we did with Microsoft around a month ago. Finally, it is important to note that Juju and Charmed operators, they do not only apply to infrastructure automation, but also to application automation. And so you can actually use the operator framework to make sure that you cut down on uh, manual interaction for very complex applications like Kubeflow or SM, or potentially even databases. And finally, I wanted to remind you that prevention is only a part of the story. Effectively, 
all of, most of what we talked about uh, goes um, plays into into the part of, of security prevention. But you also need to have an approach that encompasses detection and response. And that is why we make sure that Ubuntu, as well as our products, work very well with your favorite security vendors, whether they are cloud native security vendors or the agents of the large public clouds or um, other third party security vendors, we make sure that uh, we work well and um, security vulnerabilities are identified promptly and the appropriate remediation action are suggested. Thanks a lot for listening. Uh, we hope to see you at our booth. My name is Massimiliano Gori, and off to you, David.